finally happened and it's now available for you to download and use. Lychee is now available for your resin 3D printers that are supporting the latest Chi2 boards that were released last year. That means that most new resin 3D printers that were produced last year, including the Elgu Mars 3 or the upcoming Elgu Jupiter, are now gonna be supported within Lychee. And the reason why I'm making this video and why this is so important is that last year, Chi2 Systems released a new set of boards that were going into pretty much all of the new resin 3D printers that were being produced that were effectively locking those printers into exclusively being sliced directly in Cheetu box. And I was not a fan of that whatsoever. And a lot of you in the community also voiced your opinions on that and pushed back on not only the manufacturers of the machines, but also Cheetu Systems who produces Cheetu box. And I am so happy to see this latest release from Lychee that now officially supports these printers like the Elgu Mars 3. And not only do they now support these new printers, they've also introduced one other amazing feature along with a bunch of other cool things that are available in that slicer that I wanna show you guys today because we are gonna run off, slice something in Lychee and print it here directly on the Mars 3. So Chi2 Systems released an SDK for Chi2 box that allows other slicers to use that SDK to then be able to create the updated CTB files that are used for these resin 3D printers. So this now means if I have multiple resin 3D printers, which I do, and if I wanted to use Lychee as a slicer, I can pretty much just use that one slicer for all of my resin 3D printers. I don't have to jump back and forth between Chi2 box and Lychee, depending on which machine I'm trying to work with. So I'll have links to Lychee Slicer down below. And if it's your first time using it, there is a free version of the software that you can try and use. And it works really well. And it allows you to slice files. I'm a pro user just because there's a lot more functionality as part of that. And you can either pay monthly or annually. If you do the annual subscription, it's going to save you a little bit of money. I think mine comes out to about $60 US every year that I end up paying. And I've been a pro subscriber for uh, the past two years or so. And here we can see our Xavier X-Men bust. And what I'm gonna end up doing before I do anything else, I just wanna rotate these slightly. I'm gonna put them, make sure that they're all sitting on the platform. So that's on the platform, just make sure that nothing's falling through the platform there. So we're already looking really good. One reason why this, uh, this particular head is blue and the others are red here is because it's detecting that there are some issues with the particular files. So here I can come in and I can use the repair function, which is a really nice uh, thing that's available in the pro version of the slicer. So it's gonna detect any issues in an attempt to repair those. And it's a pretty quick process. So it saw one hole and it repaired that. Now for this chest piece, uh, it's going to try and repair it, but there's going to be some issues that it's not able to fix. And that should be okay. See, it says it's fixed six, but there's one additional that it was not able to repair. Now, along the top here, you're going to see this is the layout section that we're working with. So this is where you can arrange your models, scale them, duplicate them. Uh, move them around the print space here that you're working with. The prepare is where you're going to hollow and add your supports. And then the export is where you're actually going to slice the file. But before we do that, I just want to come up and show you this 3D printer section here. And this is leading up to one of the coolest features that Lychee has just added with this last release that I think is so amazing. So here you can see all of the different printers that uh, I've got currently supported inside of my instance of Lychee. Down below, we have a whole bunch of different printers and resin profiles that I have set up. And what's really fantastic here is if you click on the add resin button under a particular printer that you're working with, it's going to give you a lot of different profile options for you to pick and choose from that other users have worked with and submitted back into the Lychee Slicer repository for other users to work with. And I think this is such a rad idea for you to be able to pull from. So here's an example of my profile that I typically use for my Elgu Mars 3 that's available in my Patreon, and I'm using it directly here in Lychee and have submitted it in here uh, for others to be able to work with as well. So this is the typical settings that I work with where I'm able to get really fast prints, but also quality prints as well. 
So under the prepare section, this is where, again, we can add supports, add your rafts. You can hollow out your prints as well. So here, if I come under hollow, this is uh, where we can get a little bit of a preview here of how thick we want the actual prints to be hollowed. And I can use the little scroll along the side here to see through the print how this is actually going to hollow out with that 2.2 millimeter thickness which I could probably go thinner, but I'm fine with this as is for the moment. And then it's saying we're going to do a 10% infill on the hollow, which should be, again, fine for what I'm working with here. This is going to help just further support any areas that are already hollowed out. And then the next thing I want to do is start adding some holes on the bottom side of our prints. So here I can set the diameter here. So I know I'm going to need something pretty large, like a 40 millimeter for the base here. Let's see if that will work. Ooh, that's going to be perfect. So I'm going to set that and then I can start adding some smaller ones for the other models. So now that we've added our holes, I'm going to come in under the support sections. And here, this is where you can either manually place all of your different supports. There are lots and lots of different support settings uh, options within Lychee. And then they've also have some predefined options that if you wanted to auto support, which is what I like to do typically here, I can choose light, medium, or heavy. So I'll say medium and generate auto. And what it's going to do is run through the process of automating supports across all three of the different files. All right, so now that our supports are generated, I know I don't need some of these in here. So I'm gonna just click on them and hit delete and it auto deletes those. And I'm just clicking delete on my keyboard to remove those. What I will end up doing is coming in under the manual supports, clicking on heavy and just adding a few heavy supports here on the print, just so it's got a little bit thicker, heavier supports to hold on to the particular print. And then one last thing that you can do here is modify what raft you're using. So the base of the prints here. I know a lot of folks that are over on Patreon that are making their own files like to use this particular line triangle option here. It's pretty, it's a pretty common one that you see with a lot of folks that are using it. I still prefer this one right here, which is the uh, shape wall, which allows me to more easily get my prints up and off of the print bed just because I can more easily get it up under the, the base there. And next we're going to click on export. And this is where we can just verify everything one last time before actually slicing the file over on the left hand side. It's going to give you a few different uh, view options. One of my favorite ones here is the simulation. If you wanted to see what it's going to look like when it's actually printing, you can run through this simulation option here. And what I like about this is it's going to help me verify if my prints are facing the right way when I go to print it because I like to do resin lapse time lapses. The other view I like is the scale version where you can actually see how the prints are going to look once they're printed compared to other world objects like a banana or a soda can here. So from here, I'm actually just going to slice the file. So here we can export the sliced file. So here I'm going to save it to this location and click save and it's going to begin the process of slicing the file. Once it's finished slicing, we can then run off and get it 3D printed. And here is our 3D print off the Elgu Mars 3 from Drafnir Studios. This is the Professor Xavier bust print that's available via his Patreon. Looks amazing and clean. Love how the support's generated through Lychee. Easy enough process to work with here. And even though that one torso said it had some issues, I was confident it was gonna print properly and I'm happy to see it did. Now, if I did everything correctly, the profile that I used for the Elgu Gray resin here on the Elgu Mars 3 should be available to you to use directly through Lychee's new resin profile system. I think that's one of the best innovations to come along within a resin or just basically any slicer at all to have this extended library that as you're printing, 
you can then have the profiles that you're working with automatically be submitted up there for others to use. And while I'm cleaning up the print, I did want to say a big thank you to Elgu for sponsoring today's video. If you're interested in more information on the Elgu Mars 3 or their wash and cure stations or the Saturn or any of their 3D printers, you'll find links to those down below. I am so crazy excited that these machines are now officially supported there within Lychee and one other added bonus here is that we're gonna take a file that the Lychee team has asked me to actually test out on the Elgu Jupiter. And sure enough, as expected, it's printing. And the best part here is that you have options when it comes to the slicers that you wanna use for your 3D printers. And obviously, if you're interested in printing your own Xavier bust file from Draftneer Studios, I'll have links to his Patreon down below. I also wanted to say a big thank you to all my Patreon members for your continued support. If you're interested in my resin 3D printer settings, support settings, and all that good stuff related to it, you'll find links to my Patreon down below. And let me know down below what slicer you use because I'm interested in doing a head-to-head -head comparison between Cheetu Box and Lychee. Hey, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now.